Okay, gang, Transformation Thursday in the 55 plus senior community. You know, I promise you, this is always about how to get your own, my own, how to get our transformation, right? This is about us getting it. And I've got an example, A, right here today with me that can help me to further explain why even I've dropped that bomb about, hey, you want a transformation? How about the positively unstoppable challenge entry this year? Because that can take you further down the road. So now you happen to be looking at Michael Fisher, who also happens to be not only in the challenge, and we're going to talk to Michael about it. Michael also happens to just be in the top five of our 55 plus uh, con uh, community contributors, which is saying a lot, Michael, that you are giving that much within our community because we're almost 1,700 of us now and you're in the top five. And I don't know how Facebook plans that, but it's something to do with the posts you're doing, the interaction you're doing with others, and you really care about our community. I can yeah. so see that. And in every one of your posts, quite honestly, I can see your heart, your humor, <laughs> <laughs> and, and your heart. For just, I mean, you say, uh, you know, we're just a team. We're here for each other and you don't want to disappoint anybody. And um, pretty cool, Michael. So um, anywho, so I'm going to quickly show one screen share before we get on and let Michael answer a few of the thoughts you might have in place right now about this challenge. First of all, you guys looking at the screen, this is Transformation Thursday and we will talk to Michael about why he started this journey. He's on the journey with a positively unstoppable journey, right? And Michael, what I love, what I put on this picture at the bottom left, you keep posting food that you're doing. And we all know there's three pillars, but there aren't that many of us, Michael. I hate to say if it's even a half of 1% that ever take the time to take a photo. And that tells me as well, you're taking that stinking pretty serious because you're sharing those, right? Right. And, you know, I love to cook. And so uh, these sheet pan dinners I, I, that I prepare, I I kind of go overboard because I have leftovers, but I, then I do a meal prep and I measure all my food with the scale thing. So uh, no, that Michael, were you always doing that? Is this a new habit? Yeah, I well, yeah, using the scale, I, I it's a new habit. But you know, before I was just throwing everything on one plate and eating it all because I didn't want to, you know, save it. But wow. now I, I have to consider the portion size, and I have to consider what's. Um, I'm doing my micros, so I gotta, you know, figure all that in. Plus, I'm a diabetic, so I gotta, I gotta watch that too. So, uh, yeah, nutrition's a is basically top priority in my life. Um, but then I like, I love doing my DDP workouts, and and then on my off days, like this morning, I I went on the stationary bike and did that and. And thank you for all the lessons I'm getting that on my DDP workout custom thing. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. yeah, that, cool. it, was a, it was a journey, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Now, I did happen to pull this photo that you posted up there. So we, do you even have a clue? I'm not even sure. My top weight, I'm sure I when I first recorded it for the challenge I was 250.4 but I know the day before I was four, four pounds every year I just didn't have a newspaper so I couldn't record it so I actually don't know how high I was at my highest I mean I could have been in the 260 range somewhere or I don't know could be but I or I have no idea do you have any idea what your top number that you may have ever hit the yeah the picture with the yellow t-shirt on that's when i was like 390 wow. and that i that was from i i went back on my like my uh what are your portals for your clinic doctors stuff 
Yeah. And they always put down your weight and stuff on there. That's where I got it. Wow. Wow. So, yeah. What well, you know, that is such an inspirational story. I mean, every pound that we come down is such such a move for our health and to live a longer life, isn't it? Yes. Oh and my it, word. I worry. But I want to share another thing they need to know before I ask you about the Positively Unstoppable Challenge is that how many of them know that you were actually on a fabulous Friday featured before? So DDP himself picked you out, Michael. It isn't just me who adores you. DDP himself picked you out and you were featured in a fabulous Friday. What did that feel like? Oh man, that, I I had to save it because so I could show all my my friends and yeah. plus plus all my uh, my brother, which is he's a diabetic and overweight, so just give him proof that DDP works. Wow, wow! Well, congratulations on being that. I remember the year I was running. Um, I started in 2022, but the day I started, I went ahead and started with the positively unstoppable challenge on the very day I signed into DDPY. But I can remember at one point when DDP was doing one of those Fridays, he said, you need to know basically every champ I have, I had called, I had picked them out ahead of time and featured them on Fabulous Friday. And I thought, I've never been featured on <laughs> Fabulous Friday. But actually, I was never actually thinking that I would be the champ anyway, right? And guess right. what, Michael? I was featured on Fabulous Friday after I was a champ. So there's a good indicator. His eyes are already on you. Get ready. He's watching you to watch your year. But I don't want you to feel the pressure of that. I want you to help. Michael, I'm already hearing people tell me, Pam, that signed up, right, in January. I've already had some that tell me, you know what? I just don't think this is my year. I think, I think I'm just going to quit. And part of me thinks you can't quit something you haven't actually started. So um, there's that, right? But there's also, they have, uh, so the end of March, is it 31 days in March? I forget. Yes? I think so, yeah. Okay. So by March 31st, they would want to kick it in gear and or that's the last day for registration because you have till the end of September to be... Uh, to turn in your six months. So you have to start by the end of March to get in six months of the qualification. Um, but you could pick any of those six months. If you started, I started January 20th. So my six months was exactly six months from that date. I didn't, I didn't bother to carry it on, but tell, tell our 55 plus, what has that been so far for you to be a part of that group? Because you're obviously active with us, but you're in that group too. Uh, this is not the, my first time signing up. I signed up last year too, I think. And, but I, was, I wasn't really putting my effort in. And so this year, I, when I signed up, I'm going, I kicked myself in the rear and said, you're going to do this. And it's not for winning, it's, it's for the experience and all the people that's in there. I mean, golly, Scott French, he's he's fabulous. I don't, uh, that's what I've been doing, his warrior thing. And Dallas Page, he's been terrific. I was doing his chair thing. So, uh, you know, it's just different this year. I can't, I don't know if, how to explain. I'm still trying to find my why. You know, it's, it's I, I could do it for my grandchildren. I could do it for someone else, but I have to do it for myself because I want to live longer. I don't want to be in a rest home. I'm 71 years old. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you're 71. Oh, you look like 51 or 60. I say, well, oh, that's because I'm doing DDP. I'm watching what I eat and, you know, all that stuff. It's, you got to get out. You can't be on the couch all day long. Exactly. And, you know, doing it multiple times, you're saying this is your second time. Uh, like Jason Henry, that's the grand champ of the year I was in 2020. 
that was his third or fourth year. And it's real common amongst the champs and even a few of the grand champs that they were at it three or four years, right? And they do look back to see, well, where were you then as well? They'll look at that. What matters right now is your six months this year, but they will also take into account what you did do on another uh, year before. So uh, that's a great deal. A great well, deal. I'm, I'm not tax, I mean, tax savvy or anything. So I, I just do my best to qualify, I guess. I was going to say, you've been... You've been documenting things because I just showed your foods. You've been documenting in your nutrition pillar and your fitness pillar. Phenomenal. I mean, really, uh, Michael, it's been incredible. And when you. You, when you get to the spot that you're ready to do your six month entry thing, reach out to me. You know where I, you can find me. I'd be happy to help you put that three minute or video together and stuff for you because um I'm just inspired that you're in our group here in the 55 plus, you're a key leader. You know, leaders can be picked, right? I mean, I, Steve, you called me, picked me to be a part of this when they launched it five months ago. But I think the richest leaders are the ones that choose themselves. They just put in the work. They aren't looking for the title. They put in the work. And you guys are the ones that are keeping the glue. People say, I love this community. Well, it's because a lot of you are out there not only being transparent with things, but you're also encouraging one another. And, um, you know, in your, uh, so what would you say, uh, because you're in the Positively Unstoppable Challenge, what would you say are is probably the key tweaks that you're doing because you're in the challenge this year? I concentrate more on my exercise routine. Instead of doing three times a week, I've been doing six times a week. So, and that's an accomplished for me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and did you say you're doing chair workouts? Yes. Yeah. Well, I did. You know, I went into custom and I put DDP's chair workouts for the first half of the workout weeks and then i put it in scott french's stuff so i'm doing a multi thing and then on my days off i'll do either stationary or i'll go for a bike ride or a walk fabulous fabulous yeah and you know i had a knee injury well whatever that was i don't know six weeks ago or whatever i'm making great headway but i am still i am in the chair chair to stand uh workout so i have a chair nearby and there are certain moves that I absolutely know I'm going to need the chair right then. So it's great to be in the workouts that specifically have a chair sitting there. And they'll say, if you're going to use it, go ahead and put it on your right, put it on your left. And so that's powerful. And, and, that's, and that's what I've been doing. You know, is I've been stuck on the chair exercise. It's not stuck. So next one, next, the, my next 13 weeks will be the chair to stand. Okay. Now, so yeah but it's not stuck it really is you go to what fits you right where you're at like all of last year i was you know basically up in the advanced thing right when this knee thing happened i erased all my favorites canceled out of the program i was in went straight custom so that every day i could ask myself okay knee what do you want to do today and then <laughs> i load in right where it's at and the days that I try to cheat and go a little bit further up, I pay for it. It's like <laughs> you know, that modified thing. I think for us seniors, we have got to realize it doesn't matter where we're at in the programs. We could be in the yellow level, the orange level, right? I was orange. But if you hurt yourself, you got to let your ego go and come back down to the green and figure out now where you are. I'm not exactly sure when I get to get to the yellow. I always think it's tomorrow, but it may not be those workouts. I might be stuck in the green for a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter as long as we're moving forward, right? Right, right. Yeah. And, you know, with two hip replacements, one knee replacement, and one knee uh, went in there and they scraped the arthritis off. You know, yeah. heck, I'm doing it 
Yeah, Michael, didn't you also have something from birth or something? Do yes. I uh, when I was born, I didn't have a, a hip socket on my right hip. The but doctor, they, yeah, they, I was I was crying like a little, you know, when a baby, and they they couldn't pull my leg down like I was supposed to, and I, every time they do, I screamed, and that's according to my mother anyway. So they found out I didn't have a uh, yeah, a hip socket. Wow. So you have known uh, really rehab, rebuild your entire life. Yes. Yeah. And did you end up going into the military too? Did I see something? Yes, I did. <laughs> well, uh, they, I was so, I was surprised when they you know, passed me on a, like two physicals and I went to Fort Leonard Wood and got into basics. And I mean, I could do anything they want. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter. I was in gymnastics in high school. So, so anyway, I, the drill sergeant says, are you hurt? I said, no. Well, you're limping. I says, no, I, That's you. I'm fine. Well, they, they had to make me a doctor's appointment there and oh, well. Well, thank you. Honorable, honorable discharge, anyway. So yeah, but you still went in to serve, and that's yes, that's I enlisted. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, thank you for being willing to go and do that. And then just your life story. I mean, seriously, Michael, you're one of those. The more I study about you, and the more I see another post, I'm like, oh, I love this guy. So I've had my, my husband watching all your things. I even told him. I'm going to interview him today. He goes, really? I said, yeah, you get to see it first. So he gets to see it before anyone else gets to see this interview. So you're an inspiration to him. And he just signed up for the Positively Unstoppable Challenge. Good. Just started his first DDP workout. I videotaped it and so tried not to be laughing too hard on the opposite <laughs> side. But it was because I didn't coach him at all. I wanted him to have a raw, what's your first workout look like on with DDPY and I forgot how it was for me you know you get confused because he's saying right and left but you're looking at the body and he's going left and right right and yeah. so you're like and so I watched my husband with all that I'm like yep you'll get it too but yeah you've been an inspiration so well, thank, thank you thank you for all you're doing for all of us you are thank you you are a, a rock star. You really are. And you're a humble man because I almost had to twist your arm to get you to do this today. I, I know. But you knew you had something to give, right? Yes, I do. I mean, it, never, never give up. You fall down, get right back up, take baby steps, and you'll eventually get where you want. And I, I'll have his name listed here. You guys reach out to him. If you're wondering a little bit more about, you're thinking about the Positively Unstoppable Challenge, but still kind of questioning if it's right for you, reach out to Michael because you'll be happy to answer any questions. Won't you, Michael? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I love you, sweet friend. Thank you for doing this for the 55 plus for Transformation Thursday and you are going after it. Thank you for giving me recipe ideas too. I love, <laughs> I'm a, I was like a CB student. I like photographs. So if I see a photograph of a food, it's like, oh, I'd like that. <laughs> so, well, I tell you what, tonight I'm making a uh, sheep pan dinner with uh, turkey thighs and uh, squash. So. Oh, I love squash, shoot. Too bad we don't live closer. My husband and I need a cook. <laughs> 48 years of marriage and neither of us like the kitchen. So we're kind of, but I go there, right? I just want to get out every moment I'm in there. I'm ready to get out. So. Cheap, pan, cheap pan dinners are so easy. Well, keep posting it because I follow some of your recipe ideas. I was like, oh, I guess I could fix that tonight. So awesome love you tons thank you for all you do you are a